Daniel here for Tabletop for One. Please join me at the table as I unbox Warfighter, the North Africa edition. And so here is the North Africa edition of War Warfighter World War II. This is a recent Kickstarter delivery from DVG Games. And I actually have the all-in pledge, which includes the Mediterranean content as well. But, but let's go ahead and check out this box here. And it says, they were the first to begin, and ever since kept marching steadily forward on the long road to victory. This Warfighter edition takes place in the North African Theater of Operations. This, of course, is a cooperative game that can play up to one to six players, but we will of course be playing solo and there are no additional rules for solo play which is excellent so you learn the game as it is and play it as it is all right so let's check out the inside here and so we'll check out the rule book here i of course have seen this rule book before being a a fan of warfighter that i am i have multiple editions and you'll see some of these cards are referencing uh the general reference to the cards, but these cards in particular are modern Warfighter cards. But they all work very similarly. So explain some of the counters here. Mission setup. Selecting your mission card. There's different mission types here. And I gotta say, this is one of the most replayable games out there. I've compared this to Arkham Horror before, and I enjoy this more than Arkham Horror, even though I I own both and enjoy both. But definitely something to consider. Ooh, check this out. Looks like it's got a picture of maybe some of the Warfighter fantasy cards. That's cool. But here it talks about objective cards and player soldiers. In the game, you control player soldiers, non-player soldiers, and squad soldiers. They all have different roles and different ways that they uh, have equipment and that sort of thing. How to play action cards, soldier activities, location cards, and then the hostile cards. How a hostile turn works, event cards, what happens when a soldier is wounded, Completing objectives. And then it goes on to some of the other additions and those rules. Alright. So now we're going to check out the keyword cards. Or the keyword pamphlet here. This has grown since the, <laughs> the first edition of Warfighter. But it's a handy guide to have available when you're playing the game. Because there's a lot of keywords in the game. A lot of it's very intuitive, but you do have to learn what each of them means. And so once you learn them, it's going to be relatively intuitive and easy to remember. But there's quite a few of them. All right. And then here we have the standard Warfighter uh, board. I'll probably use my neoprene mat that I have from Warfighter Pacific. But this actually looks really nice. It's very clean. Yeah, it actually looks really nice. I might actually use this. I like my neoprene mats, but you know, this is a very clean setup. I like how it looks. And of course, it's uh, the color and, and scheme is thematic to the North African theater of operations. All right, we have a bunch of counters. And it looks like these were pretty spot on on their, uh, their cut. Very centered. Yeah, these ones too. You know how the counter sheets can be sometimes. Sometimes they'd be way off center. These look great. Thankfully, I have counter trays ready to go for all of these <laughs> to keep them organized. And that's the last one. 
Very good. All right, and then we have a bunch of decks of cards. And we have the dice. So there's going to be three D10s in here, one D6. The D10s, of course, are for attacking, and the D6 is for rolling for cover. All right, I got all the cards unpackaged. So we're first going to look at the action deck here. And so the action deck has a bunch of cards that you're going to be able to use as free actions in the game. And so we have first in, rally, attack, lucky shot, <laughs> move out. I love the I love the pictures in some of these. These are great. I mean, they're very thematic. Steady aim. Snapshot. Combined fire. Shell scrape. Advance. Prepared fire. Walk it off. <laughs> One of my uh, online friends, he mentioned this card, uh, Glenn. He said, check this card out. This is like the perfect picture for the walk it off card. <laughs> Reloading. Take cover. Go, go, go. Cover me. Silver bullet. Flanking attack. Camouflage. Infiltrate. Trailblazing. Sentinel. And then, of course, location markers. All right, very good. And so here's some of the equipment cards. We have a lucky helmet, web gear, canteen, wire cutters, mine detector, satchel charge. I think that's out of place. <laughs> that should be in the weapons. Uh, booby trap, first aid kit, entrenching tool, tool kit, canvas water bag, and water flimsy. Uh, of course, some of these... I'll have seen in other Warfighter games, but um, the other ones like the, the water bag, water flimsy, and all those things are essential to play in the North African area because of uh, obvious water issues. All right, we got a couple of situation cards here. And so it gives you a benefit at a cost at the start of the mission, so... This one gives you one extra turn for the mission, but you can't purchase any extra ammo. This one gives you 15 extra resource points, but this condition here is in place. All right, so now we have some skills. These should be pretty recognizable. We have Rifleman, Leadership, Hip Shooter, Water Wise. That's a new one, I think. I don't recognize that one offhand. Desert Acclimated. Keep Calm. Close Combat. Spotter. Veteran. Guts. Marksman. Navigator. Local Knowledge. Corman. Panic. Sapper. Pitcher. <laughs> Pitcher's good at throwing grenades. Hunter. Bolt Action. Fast Reload. Machine Gunner. And Knife Fighter. Very cool. And then we have the service record cards. And these ones are ones that you can buy that, that give extra little actions and bonuses that you can use. All right, and so here are some of our missions. Nip out and back, it's a raid mission. Across the wire, so you have to deal with barbed wire in location three. Multiple objectives. Cams and fighting, it's a raid mission. The courage to continue. The cauldron. KBO, I'm not sure what that stands for. Somebody can tell me in the comments. Making tracks. Parched earth. Oh, now we're into, now we're into locations here. So we have parched earth, windswept plain, desert crags, agricultural village. Shanty Town, Beehive Huts. A lot of these have a uh, none reinforcement on them. Coastal Road, Salt Pan, Dead Ground, 
camel bushes, rocky ground, knoll, shallow wadi, deep wadi, desert road, unmarked minefield, observation post. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. After unmarked minefield, that's the end of the location. So now we're going to objective set. It's actually quite a few locations. So that adds some nice variability to the gameplay. And then here are our objectives. Observation post. Cleared pathway. Machine gun nest. Oh, that does not sound fun. Pole storage. Special delivery. The sniper. Oh, <laughs> I like the sniper missions where you have to go after a... An elite sniper and take him down. Punch a hole. And then Benghazi handicap. Alright. And then here's a few more situation cards. So we have first tour. Double time. Ammo shortage. And team effort. Very good. And so let's check out some of the soldiers here. We have uh, UK soldiers here. And... Um, so the first few here are going to be player soldiers. We got Eagle, Blizz, Havelock, Swan, Carver. Then we have some team soldiers. This is new, I think. It looks like they don't have action cards, but they're very much like player soldiers. They have more health and um, they have a loadout and you equip them. So that's interesting. And so we have Frost, Ryder, and Kendall. And then we have our non-player soldiers. Non-player soldiers are previously equipped, but um, are better than squad soldiers. They just cost more, generally. And then we have some squad soldiers. And check this out. we got a couple vehicles. So we have the Blake 2-pounder. And the Colin Beaufort's Bedford. I don't know anything about these vehicles, but that's cool. This is These are both light vehicles. And uh, I do have the vehicle packs for um, Warfighter World War II, but I haven't used them much, so I don't have much experience. And I do plan on using these in this game. So we'll see how that goes. All right, we got some weapons here. Scoped rifle, the Enfield number two, of course the Mark One grenade, the brand Mark One machine gun, Vickers machine gun, tripod, anti-tank rifle, sticky bomb grenade. Ooh, that sounds cool. And <laughs> the mortar, and then the bayonet. All right, very good. So now we are on to the enemy cards here. Of course, we have the events here first. Exhaustion. Wrong way. Counter orders. Mirage. Sandstorm. I love these pictures. This looks so great. Oasis. Heat wave. Concealed approach. Lighten the load. Enemy in placement. Double time. And then we have some fortifications here. So we have some minefields and barbed wire. So we're going to be encountering these in this game and That'll be interesting. I think we're going to need to bring some mine, some uh, mine detectors and some wired cutters. All right, so now we have the hostile cards. So each of these are going to have an elite form and, and a frontline form. So we have the elite machine gun nests, the frontline gun nests, forward observer, sniper, panicky soldier, <laughs> Pickets, Infiltrator, Scouting Force, Messenger Bike, Recruits, Rifleman Squad, Raiders, Flanking Team, oh, I don't think I like flanking teams. Uh, Nebelwerfer Battery. Hopefully I said that the right way. That looks awful. I I don't know that I even want to deal with it. It's screened by 0 to 2. Yeah, not going to like that one. Reinforcements. 
And then we have a half track here. A couple half tracks. An eight wheeler. Wow. A Panzer Jaeger. I think I pronounced that right. Maybe not. <laughs> Officers. More tanks. Wow. Looks like some pretty nasty hostiles in that deck. Well, there you have it. That is the unboxing of Warfighter World War II, the North Africa edition. Let me know in the comments what you think of this game. Honestly, it looks amazing. Uh, the quality of everything looks like it's been bumped up since the, the last edition. So I'm very happy with it. Can't wait to uh, play the game. I also plan on producing more content with uh, the Warfighter. I'll have unboxings, of course, but I plan on doing some playthroughs and eventually reviews of the new editions here. So stay tuned for that. Please like this video and subscribe to this channel if you like the content you see here. And I thank you very much for watching Tabletop for One and have a great night.